my name is Eugene Nipange. I was born in Cebu City. Um, I started FMA um, way back on 19... I mean, in love with FMAs way back on 1989. When I first saw Yuli Rumo, uh, my brother's, one of my brother's best friend in Manila, uh, upon seeing him, I start, felt in love with Iskrima. And from then, from there, I, you know, since uh, Yuli Rumo is based on Manila, I end up training Balinta Wak in Cebu because I was based in Cebu. So my first teacher back in uh, 1990 was Jose Jogo Milan. He was, um, he was my main, my first Balinta Wak teacher. After, uh, when Jogo passed, in 1991, late, I mean, or in June of 1991, uh, I continued my training like a year after under uh, Ramon Franco Velez or Moni Velez. He's the son of uh, Chupilo Velez, one of the uh, Velez brothers. And I was also fortunate to train with his brothers, you know, briefly, you know, Eddie and Chito. I was also fortunate to train back then in Cebu in the 90s under. Um, Nick, uh, Nick Elizar, um, uh, who else? Uh, Ising Atilio, Crispolo Atilio. I also trained a little bit with him, just a little bit, you know. I also have trained with uh, Rene Kapangpangan uh, under uh, Arnis Diablo, which uh, now called as uh, Barao Supo. So I've been training with uh, Veles since uh, 1992 up to 2001. Till I got here to the United States and um, I would say around three years later or four years later I was fortunate to meet uh, Zach Taco in New York who also once used to train Walintawak in the 70s at under Veles. He was also one of my, until now he's still my mentor in Walintawak. He, he, he helped me get better and uh, other than Zach, I also uh, was fortunate to connect with uh, Grandmaster Nene Gabukayan. He, he, he lives here in LA and um, I also learned from him. He's also one of my mentors. Uh, I also was fortunate to train with uh, Grandmaster Bobby Tabibina, another Palintawak great. Um, who else? Uh, of course, uh, in 2013, I end up in Charlotte, North Carolina. I was also fortunate to meet and train with Grandmaster Bobby Tabuada. And uh, my system is uh, solid uh, from Veles background, but I have influence from other systems too. Um, I learned Illustrissimo from Raul Marquez way back in, you know, when I was in New York 2008 till maybe before I left, like five years there. I was fortunate to train with one of the good ones in Illustrissimo. And then uh, from there, my Balintawak, you know, expand from the understanding of Illustrissimo and Balintawak. And then briefly also, I also have trained with, uh, a little bit with uh, Don Cuesta in New Jersey, another Balintawak, I mean, Tosipar is great. So it helped me understand deeper my understanding of the system, Belis. My teacher always encouraged me to explore the art and to say, uh, develop the art from within. You know, say other uh, look at uh, look on other systems, and try to you know understand it and put it in your own. So that's how I uh, you know I I expand my understanding in Balintawa. And on later years, I was also fortunate to connect back to Yuli Robo, the guy who really inspired me to do FMA. You know, so his understanding of the game was pretty good. He's pretty good. He he does train. Um, he used to train Balintawa and also one of the five pillars of Lustrissimo. And his understanding of also helped me a lot to develop what I'm understanding now on the system that I'm doing. So in other words, you know, I, my solid background is Belis lineage that, you know, I look around to, you know, to shop out, to make, you know, to understand deeper by looking on other systems. And one thing that I really, um, you know, different is I avoid politics so I always make sure that I hang up I hang out with everybody and you know it's always good to train with different you know groups with different system and you know be open-minded because that's how it's supposed to grow 
if you go back, if you keep your thing, and it's gonna die with you. But if you open it up, and you know, and there's a lot that you can always see from the others, kind of thing. You know, like they always said that uh, two heads are better than one. So with the opportunity of this one, I hope that I can connect with other guys and hopefully can learn and get even better than what I got right now. And, and there's a lot of different Balintawak groups um, and he knows all of them. And he, he's kind of like me, very open-minded and I'm sure he can do some Dosi Paras stuff. But um, it's a different perspective and, and a lot of my good friends that um, uh, Mike Miguel Ruby or Mike McKenzie from up north, Reno Balinado, which you, a lot of you guys have been with me a while. They they messaged me, hey, Eugene's here. He's in, he's near you. Can you help him? Can you get some exposure? And those are like two of my close friends there. So I trust their judgment, and he seems like a good guy. So and then even my my Kakoi Dosaparas coach guy, he <laughs> called me, hey. Learn some stuff from Eugene. He's got some really good stuff. So that's why, yeah, you know, I have him here today. So go ahead. Eugene. Oh, thanks. I'll teach you the secrets. Okay. <laughs> it's the way I look it up. I look look at it. Is it's the flavor that they do. Um, Bellis is more of a boxer, so his style fits like you know, kind of like a boxing mode. Um, Anjung Bakon, the way I heard it, have a lot of students. You know, different way, a different kind of students where some of them don't even know each other. That's that's how diverse you know, they are, and you know, they have their own flavors. You know, we got Polentawa original. You know, guys like Sirio Arcel, Jim Boy Happy, Arturo Sanchez, uh, famous names, Ted Boat, of course. And guys like Villa Sin, which is also you know really you know uh, related to Velez and the training system. And there is. Um, you know, the great um, Chris Polo Ising Atilio, another group of Balintawak, which is also pretty good. And there are lots that I don't even know. Yeah, and from Billy's lineage, there are a lot under him. Like the greats like, you know, Fabi Tabimina, Fabi Tabuada, Nick Elizar, Grandmaster, I mean, all of them Grandmasters now, Nene Gabukayan. And there are many more that I don't even know that are very, very good. And uh, under Vélez, there are also guys like um, Oliver Magoyan. He is in, uh, you know, he is now in his hills in Canada. He's also pretty good. And uh, it's just the flavor is just, you know, these they were the first. I think Billyson and Vélez were the first who introduced groupings. Uh, they designed the groupings because it is more a school, like you know, like an academy thing. So they, they teach the old teachings from back on into, you know, they, seg they segment it into different kinds of frames, like you know, group one to group five. It's just the flavor they have. I am, I am an open-minded person, and I always want to say the term, stay outside the box, though. You can, I can still stay inside the box, but makes the box bigger. So in other words, I, when I'm training from Dose Paris, I, you know, it helps me understand deeper the lesson that I learned from Balintawak. Because you know, it, no matter what I see there, it's all the, the strikes are very common. They have just their own flavor, like you know, Dose Paris does it this way. They love to do it more different than Balintawak. But if you look at the core, if you look at the, the root of it, it's technically very the same. So, you know, both of them don't claim that they are the same, but the way I see it, it's very the same. And it opens my mind that, you know, there are a lot of stuff that you can do if you combine both of them, since they came from one source, they came from one, you know, one, one root. I'm still, you know, technically my, I'm labeled as a Palintawak practitioner still, but what I I'm doing is I try to expand the understanding from within the art. Me to say if I do Balintawak, if I, if I you know I train other system and I try to put it all together, I try to understand where I insert it on the system that I do. So even though I'm doing Balintawak, you know I I, I I see other things. I mean I try to put you know like I train a little bit of Illustrissimo too, 
I, I put them all, you know, I try to understand it where to insert it on in the regular Balintawak that I do. So in other words, in label, I'm still Balintawak, but you know, I'm more open-minded. I, I also see other things because all systems have a good, a lot of things to offer. Honestly, all, all systems are good. It's just, it depends on the person, you know. In Balintawak, you do this. But doesn't have to be that. It, it can be this quadrant. It can be this quadrant. It can be this quadrant. It can be this one. It can be that one. It can be this one. It can be this one. There's a lot here because you can do this. You know, here. You know, same thing. You can do that. You know, it depends. It can be here. It can be here. So right now, it's up to you where to put your hand. It's kind of like the the mother of this one for like kind of like spider daga. From there, you block it here. Do this one here. Flip it over like this. Control. You either can do that, or you can do this one here. You can do this one here, or you can do this one here. Stop or pass. The way I, I see FMA, you know, not only FMA, martial arts as a whole. You know, I'm more like you know, I train to learn. I train to get better. And you know, I I tend to avoid politics because sometimes like you know this guy is so good that I cannot go to him because you know my teacher doesn't like him, vice versa. So now it will you know it will it will stop my growth of getting better. So I you know I love to train, I love to be friends of all, uh, but I don't want to step on others' toes too. So you now I just don't want to be you know to to be the reason why the others are troubled because of me. I know, in, in, to make the story short, I just want to be friends of everybody. I train and learn, and then, you know, just stay away from politics. That's really, you know, I'm trying to avoid that. It's hard to avoid that, but I'm working on it. The play. Nice, there we go. In here. One. Two. Three. This one here. Control, here you go. One, two, big over. You got it? So if I try to attempt to disarm here, stop me right away. And then, then my, my other option is I have to slap you there, then it opens you, I punch you there in the belly, and then you flip it over there. Alright? And then always stay connected. Don't lose it up. Because here, you know, I can hit. So make it make sure you're there. Now flip it over. Your turn. Okay. Maybe uh, on Facebook, they can reach out to me, or you know, they can ping me on Messenger. I think that's the best way. Uh, you can find me. I don't have a website, so it's a problem. Because <laughs> I know I, I jump from places to places. I know if uh, people wants to learn. Uh, I'm really willing to share the art. You know, I I'm more of like you know teaching it because of the lovely art. So. You know, they can reach me on my Facebook. My name in Facebook is Eugene Samuel. That's just you know, my, my, my fake name there. It's easy for guys to hunt the book, find me. FMA Live for giving the opportunity for me to be in this interview. I really appreciate and thanks very much for having me here. Uh, it really like, you know, it helps me a lot. I mean, as a start right now, 
where you know I can you know I can I can start connecting with other people. Thank you. You're very good.